Welcome back to the broadcast. Well, our next guest is what you would call a master mixologist. He's championed the cocktail culture in New York City and has been doing the same thing right here in Dallas for years, and he's here to show me a thing or two. Welcome, Jason, Jason Cosmos. And what he just told me during the break is you also make this brand of vodka, and you distill it here in, in Dallas? No, no. Actually, they're all distilled all, they're distilled all over the world. Uh, myself and two other bartenders, we collaborated with master distillers from all over the world uh, to produce completely unique spirits that are specifically made for making incredible drinks. Oh, wow. Okay, so tell us real quickly the difference between these types. Do you, just vodka? is? No, no, they, they're all different. We have, uh, this is uh, Aylesbury Duck Vodka is a Canadian uh, white winter wheat vodka. Mm -hmm. uh, Kanye Brava is a, it's actually a Cuban style rum, which doesn't really exist in America right um, now. Okay. Uh, it's a revival of an old style, and that's made in Panama. Uh, tequila, of course, is made in Mexico, in the highlands of uh, the tequila of Arandas. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Ford's Gin is made in uh, London. Okay, so what? You, which one of them are you going to use today? Okay, well, I'm going to use the Ford's Gin, and I'm actually going to use also, this is from my bar in New York, uh, employees only. We make a grenadine, and we also make an excellent Bloody Mary mix. Oh. Probably one of the biggest and boldest Bloody Mary mixes out there. Really? Uh, the grenadine is made from 100% uh, pomegranate juice and cane sugar and a little bit of uh, some exotic spices. Ah, okay. So it really does matter what you use in your drink when you're mixing up a good drink. Everything I do is flavor-driven. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so get you ready? Started we're going to do, sure. a, we're gonna do uh, a watermelon cobbler. Now, cobbler is, oh. and everyone knows it as kind of a, Yum. you know, a dessert thing. But in, in classic cocktails, it was actually, uh, it, you would use fresh fruits. Actually, this, uh, this shaker here is known as a cobbler shaker. It has this screen which holds back all the pulp. Yeah. And the idea was that you would take fresh fruits and season and mix it with alcohol, and that's how you kind of celebrate it. Yeah. So for, for this one, we're going to do a watermelon. Maybe not exactly the most classic, but definitely fun. So about three but chunks. But so good for summer. Yeah, it's really yummy. And you got a really nice, ripe red one. And we and just, just muddle it a little muddle bit. Muddle it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, it's so easy to do. You just need a little bit juice. of lemon. This is three quarters of an ounce that I'm going to put in. I got that. Which is just about half a big lemon. Mm-hmm. Okay. A really big lemon on that one. So we have our grenadine. And if you wanted to make grenadine at home, could you do it with just pomegranate juice and, and like a simple syrup? You could. Uh, it's better to actually fortify the pomegranate juice with sugar. Okay. Uh, we actually get really, really good pomegranate juice uh, for ours. So, and the next one is Ford's Gin. Okay. Okay, we're going to put an ounce and a half in there. You can put a little more if you want. <laughs> <laughs> For all of us around here. Okay, and then just slice it. And then are you gonna shake it? Oh yeah. I love these summer drinks that you could do for like a big barbecue. Just make a big batch of it in one of those, um, you know, one of those glass uh, spout servers. You can do that, or you, you know, even easier. You can just do a pitcher. Just get mm -hmm. yourself a big pitcher, mix everything except for the ice and the soda. And then when you want to, just pour it out into the shaker or into this shaker even. Don't you think it's interesting how nowadays there's so much more of a drive towards using fresh, uh, fresh fruits and using fresh herbs in, in drinks and mixology has really become um, an art form, don't you think? Well, it definitely has. You know, I think two things collided. Really, classic mixology and contemporary gastronomy really merged. And between those two, just the appreciation for, for good spirits, you know, it's why you see... Uh, what are you pouring in there? This is club soda. Okay. Just a little bit there. Just give it a little fizz. Exactly. A little freshness. And then there we go. And this would be easy enough to make as a virgin drink, too, if you... Oh, with the grenadine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, the grenadine and the Bloody Mary, they're only available at Seagulls in Dallas right now. Okay. And how about the spirits? Uh, they're, they're also available there, as well as a few other uh, stores, but Seagulls is definitely the safe bet. Okay, well, let's give this a taste. Oh, that's good. Like it? It is good <laughs> and fresh, and I feel like I need to be sitting on a, on a beach somewhere with a, an umbrella. <laughs> yep, Fourth of July is coming up soon. <laughs> okay, Jason, thank you so much for thank coming in. Thank you very in. much. You can find Jason's company, The 86 Company, Noise and Spirits, by going to our website, dthebroadcast.tv. Just click on today's links.